This room ain't got no damn diversity either. Uh, I'm not racist, but I do think uh, all white people are ticklish. Cause yo, I'm nine for nine with ticking on white people, yo. Nine for nine, that's a hundred percent of nine people that's fucking ridiculous, yo. And I get it, you like, yo, you a big ass black dude, stop ticking on white folks. <laughs> but at the same time, I'm trying to change stereotypes, all right? I'm tired of white people seeing black people like, oh snap, they gonna rob us. I want white people to see black people and be like, talk of he's coming to tickle us. <laughs> Fuck them armpits up, guys. Cause I'm weird, I'm weird, man. This is, all right, this is, this is the, uh, I spent a lot of my free time eavesdropping on white people at coffee shops. <laughs> Solely because, all right, as a young athletic black dude, I get simple conversations from white men. Sports, cars, women, basic shit, right? But if you've ever heard two white people converse amongst themselves, I'm talking about insider trading, stocks and bonds, flat earth theory, extraterrestrial life, all that good shit, I want it. And one time I was eavesdropping, right? I'm pretty sure this guy was giving the other guy the financial keys to success. He was like, what you want to do is get equity and land. That's going to grow. That's not a bank account. And then he saw me and he said, hey, how about that Kauai trade, huh? I said, yeah, yeah, go Clippers. And then he got right back into it. He said, what you really want to do is get some investment. You don't want to spend any of the money. You just want to live off the profits. That's what a real investment. And then I heard that. I came back and said, hey, man, what the hell are y'all talking about? And he was like, Kawhi Leonard, man. I said, nah, before that, back that up. And he was like, yeah, back that ass up by Ludacris, right? And I was like, no, it's juvenile, but yeah. <laughs>